Welcome or welcome back, Cyber Explorers. It's Alfie, and in this video we'll explore together with this step-by-step -step guide how to change the DNS server in your router. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Find your router's IP address. Open the command prompt. You can do this by searching for CMD in the start menu and clicking on command prompt. In the command prompt, type ipconfig and press enter. Look for the default gateway under your network connection. This is your router's IP address. Common IP addresses are 192.168.1.1 or 192.168.0.1. Access the router's admin interface on your computer or mobile device. Open any web browser, for example, Chrome, Firefox, Edge, in the address bar. Type your router's IP address, the one you found in the previous step, and press enter. In my case, I have a second router connected for this tutorial, and I want to access it. You will be prompted to enter a username and password. If you haven't changed these, they might be the default settings provided by your router manufacturer, for example, admin and admin. In some cases, you might find the information on the back of the router. Navigate to DNS settings. The exact location varies by router model, but you can usually find DNS settings under sections like network settings, internet settings, or advanced settings. Open DNS settings. Look for fields labeled primary DNS and secondary DNS. Enter new DNS addresses. Replace the existing DNS server addresses with your preferred ones. For example, you can use Cloudflare DNS 1.1.1.1, primary 1.0.0.1, secondary, or Google DNS 8.8.8.8, primary 8.8.4.4, secondary. After entering the new addresses, Make sure to save or apply the changes. Some routers may require a reboot to apply the new DNS settings. You can typically do this through the admin interface or by physically unplugging the router for a few seconds and then plugging it back in. You can verify that the DNS changes have been applied by using the command prompt. Open command prompt and type NS lookup and press enter. It should show the new DNS server addresses. These steps should help you change the DNS server on your router and ensure your network uses the desired DNS settings. And that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and don't forget to activate the notification bell so you won't miss out on any new uploads. Thank you for watching. Until next time, see you later.